So we need to have a bit of a conversation about what is strategic portfolio management. We're not trying to compete with your own internal current capabilities of project management. What we're trying to do is overlay on that the perspective that strategy provides against those projects. So the overall process, of course, is understanding what does your organization need through the strategy model and what do the processes currently perform and what projects are currently proposed to help close those gaps. The problem with the analysis that we've developed so far is that it assumes a bunch of things. Uh, most projects have difficulties because we don't have infinite money or people or even capacity at the target work center or department. Even the elapsed time becomes a constraint and there's many other constraints that get in the way. So somehow or the other we have to make decisions about what projects do we proceed with given the realities of the business world that we live in. So what we've done so far is we took a look at our strategic objectives and how important they were and how our current process groupings work to achieve those strategic objectives. And we identified where there are performance gaps, where the current processes don't meet our current needs. And we actually presented a graph to you that allowed us to show how well our current processes performed, the blue bar, and the gap between how well they currently perform and what's required empirically to achieve our strategic objectives. We then took a look at our roster of existing initiatives or projects to see where they impacted each of those strategic objectives and what level of impact they had. Based on that, we could take a look at those gold bars, the, the performance gaps, and map how well our portfolio of existing projects work potentially to close those gaps. And in many cases, what we find is in some cases, we have a huge investment in projects that are dealing with gaps that no longer exist. In other cases, we have gaps which are significant, yet we don't have an en enough investment in projects to help close those gaps. This is the portfolio management issue. What we need is a way to begin to get past these assumptions, right? These assumptions that there are no mandatory projects. In fact, some of those projects you have to do for regulatory or legislative reasons, or maybe even just because they've been mandated by head office. And of course, we don't have infinite capacity in the organization to both do our day job and these projects, nor do we have infinite funds to fund these projects or infinite time in which these projects can get done. So how do we optimize against those equations? Well, the truth of the matter is you can't. What we need to do is provide you with a tool that allows you to take a look at those mandatory projects, limited funds, people, access, etc., and make some informed decisions about how to proceed. So we'll be introducing to you a simple tool that builds upon the work that you've done already, our portfolio management tool. Let me overview what's here. First off, we're going to take a look at what are the available resources that you need to work with? What are the constrained resources? So in this example, we're saying money have only got $100,000, managers have only got 40 FTEs, and staff I only have 100 FTEs I can use towards projects. Then we're going to take a look at what are the, um, uh, within the projects that you've identified, which of those are uh, mandatory? Which ones are uh, do you have to do because of legislative, regulatory, or even because of um, head office constraints. We'll mark those with a P. And which one, or with an M rather, and which ones you're, are related to improving the performance of the organization. We'll mark those with a P. Now it's important to note that those mandatory ones are going to get done regardless. But amongst the other ones, we might want to have the ability to choose which ones you're going to proceed with or not. So inside this part of the spreadsheet, you can choose whether I'm going to proceed with those projects or not based on the availability of resources and so forth. In this part of the table, we'll be able to explain how much of each of those constrained resources are required. So for example, the project called strategic compensation, which is a performance related project and so far is not selected, requires $50,000 10 FTEs of manager time and 5 FTEs of staff time. And then finally, we'll be able to get the ultimate decision of whether it's included. Now, this is a bit complicated, but here's the issue. I may have something that is required for regulatory reasons. 
and even if I choose not to do it, it has to go ahead anyways, and therefore it shows over here as being included. In other cases, it's just a performance related, and we could choose to select it or not. In this case, we've chosen to select it, and therefore it's included in the analysis. Based on that, we'll be able to take a look at those goal bars, and based on the selected projects, how much of those gaps are we li liable to close. And also, if we take a look at the resources, how much of the available resource is being consumed. So in this case, we have 100,000 worth of cash, and the selected projects are only going to consume about 25,000. We have uh, you know, a, a number of FTEs, we're only going to consume a small portion of them, and we have a number of staff, we're only consuming a small portion of them as well. So overall, this dashboard allows us to take a look at what are the constrained resources, which ones we choose to use and how much are going to be required, what the net impact is, and overall, what resources we're consuming. And so by choosing which projects you're going to proceed with or not, you can begin to optimize your overall portfolio of projects against the strategic requirements of the organization. Once you've chosen them, those will then get fed into your traditional project management capability to help manage those projects and achieve those overall performance gains that you're looking for.